All right, hey YouTube. I'm gonna do a video today for you talking about your lips, how to keep them soft, what products to use, um, and some fun lip trends for spring. Um, some colors and some ways of wearing it and some uses for some of the lipsticks and lip glosses. So let's get started. Sorry, my DVD player just shut on my TV. Um, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that you want to do with your lips is make sure in the winter that you're using lots of chapstick. I like Burt's Bees chapstick. Um, this one's cool. It's a tinted Burt's Bees one. But just chapstick. I love, love, love Blistex. If you guys have chap lips, Blistex, the way to go. Um, I wouldn't use Carmex because Carmex has a chemical in it that actually dries out your lips. Therefore, you need to apply more product. You need to apply more Carmex lip gloss. Um, but the more you put on, the more dry your lips get. So it's a way for them to keep getting business. Um, it makes your lips addicted to it because you need to keep applying it. So I don't like that. I like my lips to actually get moisturized. I know, I'm weird. Um, so I use Blistex, Burt's Bees, but if you use Carmex, that's fine. Um, obviously, Chapstick, the general, um, all-around good Chapstick. But you want to make sure that your lips are nice and smooth and, um, just not chapped, especially on top and bottom. Um, just make sure they are soft and nice and kissable. Um, so I do that every, oh, throwing around. I do that every day. Um, now for spring, a trend that is coming back. It went out for a little bit, but my friends, it is coming back. And it is lip liner. Definite, definite for spring. Um, I'm just going to use the pink one. Um, lining your lips is definitely a new 2010 spring trend. And this one's a really light pink. And then, so you can't really... See it too well. And you're just going to fill in your lips with lip liner. Um, because it acts as a primer for your lipstick. I should blend it out a little bit. So lip liner definitely in for this season. Um, so make sure you want to get some of those. You want to get the lip liner that matches the color of your lipstick. Just side note, everyone should know that. But if not, there you go. Um, now a trend for this summer and spring, um, obviously lip liner, but fun pops of color. Um, for a while it was nude lips, um, light pinks, just very subtle lipsticks, and I'm talking about some really fun, colorful lipsticks, guys. Um, even some at night, go for some dark colors. Just have some fun with it, really. This one is my absolute, this favorite. What is this? Who is this by? I have no idea. Oh, this is Estee Lauder. Um, Estee Lauder lipstick in On Vogue Shimmer. On Vogue lipstick by Estee Lauder is my absolute favorite for fall. This is a very fall color. I only wear it in the fall, but I love it. Um, OPI makes fantastic lipsticks, along with extremely good nail polishes. Definitely love them. Um, this is just a very... This is nice color, eh? <laughs> and it's just a red. A very... It's like a light red... It looks like maroon, actually. Let's go with that. Um, then this one is Holy Pink Pagoda. And it's just a nice pink. I've been freaking loving this color for a while. Clinique has really good lipsticks as well. But let's just pick... I'm going to use... Holy Pink Pagoda. This is that pink one that I said I was loving. I'm going to put that on and top of that. Oh, 
lip liner. And try to stay within the lines that you drew with the lip liner. Obviously you don't want lipstick going out. And I do it in little dabs on the second time because it just makes the color layer more and it just gives a little brighter punch. So there you go. That's the lipstick. Now the last step is my favorite. Um, anyone who knows me knows I am obsessed with this. And what I am talking about is lip gloss. I am freaking obsessed. I don't go anywhere without lip gloss. If I, I, I don't go anywhere without lip gloss. Like it, it does not happen. And when it does, I seriously cry. It's ridiculous. I am so, so, so obsessed with lip gloss. It's ridiculous. But it just completes every look. So you can have, I mean, I'm talking, I've got lip gloss, 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 lip gloss. Like, I've got lip glosses coming out my wazoo. I mean... I love that stuff. So I'm just gonna take take any lip gloss you have, weird, and just put it on top. I don't know what it is about lip gloss that I love, but I really think it just brings the whole look together. It's really, my favorite parts of doing makeup are blush and lip gloss and mascara. I could wear just those three items for the rest of my life and be very, very happy. I think those are the finishing touches. I think the finishing touches on the face are definitely the blush. The finishing touches to the eyes is the mascara. And the finishing touches to the lips are lip gloss. I think if you want to look fabulous, you'll just add a little pop of lip gloss after you've done a hint of blush and a little um, jazz of mascara and you're good to go and you look fabulous. Um, so I'm obsessed with lip gloss. Definitely need to have that. Um, another thing you could do, um, you could do for the chapstick, before you put chapstick on to make sure your lips are nice and soft, you could use a buffer. Um, this is C O Big 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 O Biglo Apothecaries. Uh, I don't know how to spell it. Everyone should know what that is, though. I mean, it's from Bath and Body Works, and it's the C O Big Biglo Bigelo. I don't know. But this is the Soothing Lip Buffer Gentle Formula, and it's number 1070, and it's really, really, really cool. I love it. It's just, it's it, it kind of looks, smells really good. It looks like lip, lip gloss when it comes out, but it has little buffers that it feels like sand that just great against your lips and it just like sands down your lips pretty much and makes them nice and smooth and then you just wipe off the little buffer dudes with like I do a towel because it's like wiping your mouth with paper towel after you put lip gloss on so it like feels weird and like little bits ew so I use towel to wipe it off and then you just let it sit for a minute put chapstick on and do that over, but right before you go to bed and you're lips will wake up and be rejuvenated and really pretty.